the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Hey, everybody. Hey, you know what? I, I want to say again, Happy New Year's. Uh, we, you know, we're going into this year uh, with some new challenges, but praise God we got out of 2020. And now we're in 2021. And what I'd like to, to focus uh, as far as the ministry is to still understand that the power that's rested in you came on the day of Pentecost. And when you and I received the Holy Spirit, He endued us with power. And what we want to do is learn to tap into that power so that we can deal with the challenges of everyday life. Matter of fact, I like it even better so that He can deal with the challenges in our everyday life. So the study that we had uh, for the 10th of January in 2021, we talk about the fact is being transformed into his image. You know, we talked about it in many of you heard before in Genesis uh, 128, we were made in the image of God. But because of the fall of man, we, we fell. And we've been dealing with and living in death since that time. One of the scriptures that uh, we use for this segment of the video, this is part A, uh, is dealing with this, uh, the, the part of the scripture where it says, in Romans 5, 17, for if by one man offense, death reigned by one, that's telling us death has reigned, by the offense of Adam, much more they which receive abundance of grace and of the gift of the righteousness shall reign in life by one, Jesus Christ, amen? Therefore, as by the offense of one judgment came upon all men to condemnation, even so by the righteousness of one, the free gift came upon all men unto justification of life. For as by one man's disobedience, many were made sinners. So by the obedience of one, shall many be made righteous. Moreover, the law entered that the offense might abound. But where sin abound, grace did much more abound. That as sin has reigned unto death, even so might grace reign through righteousness unto the eternal life by Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. You know, I was, when you know, when you read that, those scriptures and you look at it, you know, all this started because of the original sin. Many people may even challenge that and say, well, no, you, you sin, because the Bible doesn't all of sin and come short of the glory of God. That's true. But the original sin, we, we were made sinners because of the offense of Adam. But we have become righteous, or we have the right to become righteous through Jesus Christ. And I like that scripture when I read it, you know, that Romans 5, 17, what I was focusing on, the abundance of grace. And I talked about that fact, even in the study, and even in the second part, hey, the abundance of grace. See, you know why I need the abundance of grace? Why you need the abundance of grace? Because we make mistakes. Because we're, 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 we're born into sin, then we were born again unto righteousness through Jesus Christ. But the, the effects of what we were, was born into, and the fact is in our flesh dwells no good thing. I mean, sin dwells in our flesh. We need the abundance of grace in order to, to be transformed into the image of God. And you know, it's a lifetime transformation. Don't let anybody fool you. Don't let anybody think they have arrived because it's not about having arrived. It's about having the grace to, to get to where you want to get to. 
get to that image that he wants you to be, but let him work that peace through you, but let you allow yourself to be submitted through his grace. We all make mistakes. Very few, not any that I know of, uh, walk on water. It is not about, this ministry is not about teaching how to operate and, and, and being spiritually deep. This ministry is not about somebody who has arrived because I, I'm gonna tell you something, I have not arrived. And I can tell you something, none of you, none of you have arrived. But you have the abundance of grace so that the righteousness of Christ, the righteousness of God, the righteousness of the Holy Spirit shall reign in life by one, Jesus Christ. And one of my friends asked in this segment of study was, is this, a, is, this a, is this something that is natural or is it unnatural to, to, to operate under that grace? Or is it supernatural? You know, it's funny. It's, it's not natural, natural, but it's not necessarily unnatural as one recognize that I walk under the grace, that I'm reigning under the grace that Christ gives me. And that grace also gives me the humility, gives you the humility to sit there and say, look, man, I, I, don't, don't look at me. Never look at a person. Look at Jesus. Anybody who in this walk long enough knows this, look and point toward Jesus. The Bible says, if he be lifted up, he'll draw all men unto him. So none of us as believers need to focus on trying to look at people, look at us. Because that's boasting in the flesh. You don't need to boast in the flesh. I think that that grace, that abundance of grace needs gives me that humbleness. Gives you that humbleness. And gives somebody who's watching you to understand it's a humble thing that we walk in the grace and the righteousness of Christ not because we earned it, because it's given as a gift. Man, I think, that, I think that's the, the whole thing about it is we, 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 our flesh want to fight us, but we're going to stand under the grace of God. So then when we do slip, and, and I'm going to tell you something, don't, don't be discouraged because you have different thoughts in your head, because I do. Don't get discouraged because you slip up and make mistakes, because I do. We all do. Anybody who don't do it, they lie to themselves. But that's okay, let them lie. Your focus is, I'm gonna just be who I am. And I'm gonna reign and grow through the abundance of grace that the gift has given to me. So this is part A. I hope you enjoy it and catch you next time, all right? God bless. And I hope you enjoy these videos. And I try to give a summary. This is my 10 in the future now. Just give a summary of what we talk about. And then you can go ahead and listen to that video and if you don't have time, then hopefully the summer will at least give you some idea of what we're talking about. All right. God bless you, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Let us pray. Father in heaven, Lord, you are worthy of yeah. worship, honor, and praise. Yes. Father in heaven, we thank you for the victory that is already won. Yes, Lord. We thank you for the victory that is already won. Already. clearly identified through your son Jesus Christ mm. uh, he is our savior he is yeah. our lord he is the king of kings yes he is your son who obeyed you um, through and through your lord mm. and right now he stands at, uh, sits at your right hand yes and he's praying for all of us yes he's praying for those who are saved and he's continuing to pray for those who are lost because yes. uh, it is your will lord that none would be lost come on <laughs> and so we thank you dear father that uh, you give us these moments where we can focus we can put aside the cares of the world yes and focus on you mm. and, and you give us your word yes. uh, that we can look at and mm. meditate on yes. and 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 discuss uh, amongst mm. ourselves in fellowship uh, even using this kind of technology, which we call a Zoom meeting right now, Lord, you, you, you make a way. Make a way. Even when there is no way, you Come make on. a way. <laughs> and dear Father, so we thank you 
Uh, we thank you for who you are, what you're all about, the love that you've displayed upon us, the yeah. grace that you've given us, the mercy that you continue to give us. And we thank you for the resources that you, you have allowed us to, to use. They all belong to you, but we thank you for those resources, dear Father. Thank you. Because it gives us comfort and it allows us to, to continue. Yes. And now let us be mindful of your divine wisdom. Yes. And not our own. Come on. Your divine wisdom that we go forth and do what you have purposed us to do on this earth. Yes. And that is to spread your gospel and to spread love. Hmm. So, Father, help us to be the example that you want us to be. Yes. Based on the life of your son, Jesus. Yes. And we see all these things in his precious and holy name. Amen. 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 And amen. 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 Thank you, brother. Appreciate that. You know, yes. we're, we're picking up, brother Jackson, what we had from last last week. We was talking about the, uh, you know, you shall receive power because I always wanted to, 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 to emphasize the fact of the, the when the Holy Spirit came on the day of Pentecost, you know, they were endued with power. And that, mm -hmm. that same power, that's the Holy Spirit, the anointing of God that has fallen on every believer since that time. You know, Amen. And, and, Amen. And, and, and we need that power in order to, to, to be witness, effective witnesses, as well as to, to, uh, to be able to combat the forces uh, of darkness that try to interfere and attack our lives as well as other people's lives, you know? Right. Um, mm -hmm. So, and one of the things let you know, on Thursday, Brother, uh, uh, I think it was Thursday, yeah, Brother Addison wanted, was get, we we last time we had stopped was going toward the church of Philadelphia uh, mm -hmm. in Book of Revelation. And mm -hmm. Brother Addison, Addison had asked a, uh, a question about the keys of David. So I've incorporated those into the slide. Uh, but just to pick up where we left off before that, let me see if somebody says something. Is to uh, start off with the scripture prior to that. And if you don't mind reading it for me, it's the, uh, you can see that that's the uh, Romans 5, verse 17. Yes. Yeah. If you don't mind reading that for me, I appreciate it. Okay. And the title that you have here is Death and Adam, Life in Christ. It says, for if by one man's offense, death reigned by one, much more they which receive abundance of grace and of the grace of righteousness shall reign in life by one, Jesus Christ. Yes. Therefore, as by the offense of one judgment came upon all men to condemnation, even so by the righteousness of one of the free gift came upon all men unto justification of life. Amen. Amen. For as by one man's obedience, uh -huh. excuse me, but for as by one man's disobedience, Come on. <laughs> many were made sinners. Right. So by the obedience of one shall many be made righteous. Uh -huh. Praise God. Moreover, the law entered that the offense might abound, but where sin abounded, grace did much more abound. Right. <laughs> that as sin hath reigned unto death, Yes. Even though my grace reigned through righteousness into eternal life by Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. You know, and that, you know, I, I tell you, let me get off this real quick. You know, those, those who got your Bible, you can keep up with that. Uh, but you know, I like I like the fact is to say that we, we reign, but you know, through grace. Mm -hmm. You know, eternal life, we reign through grace. And that's and, right. And, and, and tell you, Files, I, I can tell you, that, I know I need that grace. <laughs> I, I know Elder, though, you know, Elder got it squared away, right? He, 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 you know, he, you know, he may be already ready to walk on water. You know? <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> but I can tell you, uh, 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 as, as, as Bishop keeps talking, you know, you got to die to self daily. That's you know? right. You got, we got right. to, I think one of the Christian walk is to continue to learn how to move ourselves out of the way, you know, so the Holy Spirit can have his way in our life and those right. in contact with, you know? Right. And the right. only way to do that is through the grace of God. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, let me ask you this, and since you say that, and, uh, you know, we do repeat that, 
uh, when you are doing that each day, uh, tell me something. Is it a natural feeling for you? Is it something that's habitual now, um, or what? You know, because uh, you know, you know, for me, uh, it, it's it's an unnatural thing. But the result it, I know is a supernatural um, phenomenon. It's a yeah. supernatural thing that's only because of. Uh, what our Savior, you know, Jesus has done. So tell me, you know, when you say that, it, right. it, it, you know, otherwise, like the word says, we boast, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, you know, sir. we think, hey, well, hey, this is what I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm all good now. You know, I'm, uh, I've chosen to, 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 to you know, to, be, to, to believe in, in the Lord. Well, no, no, it's not, it's not just that. It's the fact that we sincerely believe in the Son of God and what He's done for us, and, um. But like the cares of the world that are out there now. Um, hey, Jimmy. Yes, sir. I think you got. Do you have something going on in the background? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Is that? I mean, I had the TV on. I'm sorry. Forgive the gentleman. No problem, brother. But I, I was just saying that. Um, otherwise, you know, we would boast if we, you know, said it was just ourselves that was um, doing that. So, you know, my question to you. And, and I guess it's because of, for anybody else that is listening, you know, uh, you know, they may struggle each day. That's and that thing. struggle, I think, is normal. Yes, sir. Um, yes. Yeah. It's 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 normal uh, as we grow, especially right. let's just take just this week, the you know, the, the you know, finishing the very first week in 2021 with the stuff that we've seen, yes, sir. Um, whether it be in D.C. or what's around us. Yeah. Um, we it, it, it's the uh, uh, our flesh wants to rise up against right. the spirit right and so we have to yield to that yes sir. and I, and i do think that through practice uh -huh. um that yielding you know does become uh you know i don't know if the right word is you know we get more proficient at it but we recognize that that's what we got to do right. you know don't even give attention to, yeah. to the flesh because otherwise you're going to go left real quick exactly well you know what? I, don't mean I, that, I don't mean that politically either and I I would say that um, if you're giving rise to the flesh because of that which is going on in the world is because that's where you're paying attention to and that's where your focus is. Mm -hmm. And so therefore you're going to be moved by that because that's what you're opening yourself up to and availing your mindset, your thinking, your subconscious to that which is the world. But you know what I like about these scriptures is that, and I think for me, <clears throat> I like the balance and the understanding. And like the Bible teaches and all you get and get an understanding. And that it, it, it reminds me of because of one man's offense, yeah. I was in a position. Had nothing to do with me. I wasn't even born. But because mm -hmm. of what my ancestor did, the first Adam, exactly. he had put he put me in a position. Yes. And and so because of his offense, death reigned. Yes. By him. Yes. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And right. so and so and so as I go through these scriptures, it tells me what was, uh -huh. and then it tells me the other side of what happened after that to counter that and to put that to rest. So by one by the same token that I understand that it was because of the first Adam uh -huh. that, that, that 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 put me in this situation. Yeah. I had mm. nothing to do with it. Mm -hmm. I also understand it's because of the last Adam and what he did yeah. put me in, it, 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 it countered that situation and put me in a better situation. And then too, I had nothing to do with that either. Exactly. But, but simply by accepting that, you see what I'm saying? And so, and so therefore it takes away that something I've done mm -hmm. because, because there was nothing I could have done right. and there was nothing I did do in either situation either situation just being born yeah and then and then and then and then just being born again yeah changed everything because just being born put me in the situation of what the first adam did mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. being born again mm -hmm. put me in the heritage or the lineage of what the last adam did and that's why i think it's under it's important of that concept because a lot of people don't understand what does it really mean to be born again yes, and why is it significant that i be born again 
and it's and, and this is this is fundamental to that teaching in that you have to be born again mm -hmm. because if you can't trace your lineage back to the last atom then that means it goes back to the first atom yes, and so mm -hmm. therefore there is an inheritance for that lineage yeah. and there's an inheritance for the last atom and you want to make sure that your ancestry goes back to the last atom mm -hmm. and not the first atom and i think these scriptures kind of give both sides of that all the way down through because he said it was because of the righteousness or yeah. the gift of righteousness yeah, it's a gift. shall reign yeah. in one. Yeah. The death came by one and the gift of righteousness shall reign in life by one. Yeah, Jesus sir. Christ. Amen. And you know